Hello guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing another team of the season, Silver Player Review. Today we're going to be looking at Monas de Boer, I think that's how you pronounce his first name. We have already reviewed team of the season, Farias, team of the season, Hernandez, team of the season, Drinkwater. This is the first upload of today, there will be another one tonight. I hope you're excited about how things are going at the moment. Leave a comment with uh, which, you know, team of the season silvers you want me to do next. Obviously this is a silver only channel, so I am going to be working my way through all of the silver players in the team of the season. Not just the most consistent, but hopefully there will be some in the sort of BPL, uh, Bundesliga, Serie A. There will be some exciting players coming out, and I'm very excited. Obviously, the team of the weeks that come out as well, I'll be doing the silvers in there. Yeah, so stay tuned for more silver team of the season reviews. Anyway, this is the team that I played uh, team of the season Dabor in. It is a Rafizian league, and I put the right wing uh, Asufa, Asufa or whatever he's called. I've done a review for him. If you haven't already checked it out, go and check it out. He is awesome, and let's get straight into Dabor. He has 86 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shooting, 75 passing. 70 physical, he's 5 foot 11, he unfortunately doesn't have the 4 star skill moves, which is a little bit disappointing, but I'm not going to complain too much, he's medium medium work rates, white right footed, and I picked him up for 27k, which is about where he's sitting, now when we have a look at his mental and physical stats, obviously his aggression and interceptions aren't great, but other than that, they are some phenomenal stats, he has some really really decent sprint speed, unfortunately his acceleration isn't as good, I will talk about that a little bit later in the video, and his strength's pretty decent as well. <clears throat> when we have a look at his skill attributes, he has some just really randomly good stats. Like his short passing is 89, which is incredible for a striking player. Now, obviously, as you can see, I sort of played him at a centre-forward role. But uh, he's got four-star weak foot. Uh, he has medium-medium work rates. So he can play as a striker or a centre-forward. I obviously chose to play him as a centre-forward at the start. I did, however, move him around quite a lot. I played him at striker, centre-forward and cam. Now, this guy, I'm going to start off by saying... He isn't the best at probably anything. I would say his long shots are good, as you can see from a lot of these clips. In fact, his long shots are excellent. His finesse is absolutely amazing. His finishing in the box is very good. His strength's very good. His pace is very good. He's not, but he's not like the best at anything. You know, he's not an individual thing. He's not perfect. However, as a package, this guy is near flawless. He is so good because everything that he's got that is exceptional works together to make him... It's just ridiculous that he's a silver. I feel like, although he's hard to get into decent teams, he if you can get him into a decent team, he is an absolute game changer. I played him as striker for a while, and I thought, you know, he's very, very good. But then I moved him back to that centre forward role, and I thought, he's even better. And then I moved into Cam, and his passing is so good. I couldn't describe it. He's just, he's so complete as a player. And as I said for his negatives, it does take him a little while to get to full speed, which is, you know, it's acceptable for that sort of player. His shots are not that powerful. I mean, you've probably seen in the clips, some of them explode off his boot, but that wasn't the most consistent thing. Some of them were powerful, some of them weren't. He doesn't win the ball back. His, his sort of reactions aren't great. But everything else was amazing. His finesse was incredible. Long shots with finesse, he would curl it into the top corner. Go back through and watch the clips again because he, he would just pick the ball up, edge of the box, and curl it into the corner almost every time for me. And for that reason, I've given him the highest score I have given since I've returned to YouTube, a 9.3 out of 10. I really enjoyed this guy. And the, probably the biggest compliment I can give to him is a lot of the players that I'm picking up and reviewing at the moment, I'm just set selling on straight away so that I can get the coins back but this guy he's staying in my club because I loved him I think he got I think he got 14 goals in nine games which is really good against some really top quality goal teams I've said he feels like an 80 to an 82 if you can fit him into a team definitely pick him up because I, I really strongly recommend this guy I absolutely loved him definitely my favorite team of the season from this year uh, so far obviously we have got others to do but how do you think this uh, FIFA 16's team of the season most consistent compared to previous years. So, like, obviously, we've got players like Dybala. We've got other players like Delafue a few years ago was exceptional. How do you think they compare? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which players you want me to review next. And let me know what you thought of this video. Like, subscribe. Cheers, guys.